Pastor Ellie. And I'm Pastor Kurt. And we're from Seven Seas Ministries. And welcome to our latest video. This one is called, How Would They Know? And we'd like to talk today about the people that are around us, mm -hmm. people that we interact with, whether it's family members, co-workers, uh, fellow students, people we run into at the store, mm -hmm. just people in general. And so the question, how would they know, has to do with if we didn't tell somebody mm -hmm. that we are a believer, a child of God, if we didn't tell them, how would they know? And that kind of puts us on the spot. It does. <laughs> because if we don't tell them, which we really don't need to tell people, right. mm -hmm. it should be our lives that mm -hmm. tell them. That's right. So how would they know? Would they know because of our kindness toward them, mm. genuine kindness, sincere kindness? Would they know because of our willingness to help mm -hmm. in situations where help is needed? Mm -hmm. There are so many different things that should be visible in our lives, mm -hmm. that should show people who we are, who we belong to, without right. us having to come right out and say, well, I'm a Christian. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this is, this is kind of based on when Jesus said, you are the light of the world. Mm -hmm. And he went on to say, you don't, paraphrasing, mm -hmm. of course, <laughs> you don't take a light and put a basket over it so that nobody can see it. Right. And so our lives as believers, as children of God, should be lights to mm -hmm. those around us. Mm -hmm. We should be shining light that's not our own but shining the light of God mm -hmm. on those around us. And that should show up in our in two ways, a positive way, mm -hmm. and I say a negative way, but I'll explain that in a minute. But our willingness to maybe go the extra mile to help somebody mm -hmm. would be a good example. Mm -hmm. Our demeanor with people, mm -hmm. being kind and gentle and not harsh and and you know, always looking down on people. Mm. Um, are we gossiping? Yeah. Are we talking to people about other people? Right. If mm -hmm. we are, then we're, you know, we're not setting a good example. Mm -hmm. um, and, and this is not to like treat everybody like little kids and you don't do, do, don't right. do that. And it's more like, it's, it's kind of to get us thinking. Mm -hmm. It's to get us to be a little introspective and think about, how we carry ourselves mm. when we're around others. Right. Because what's in here, mm. you couldn't see my hand on it, what's in here <laughs> comes out. Mm. It comes out through our mouths. What's in our heart will come out through our tongues. Mm. And it will come out through our actions mm -hmm. and the way we interact with others. You know, are, are we the one sitting in traffic, blowing the horn at somebody because they didn't move immediately when there was a, a green light that changed right. from red to green. Are we, you know, <laughs> laying on the horn? Mm. Um, if somebody makes a mistake and pulls out in front of us, are we laying on the horn? It's mm. our way of yelling at them. Mm -hmm. You know, mistakes happen and we have to be we have to be gracious with people just as God is gracious with us. And we mm. have to be merciful because we've received mercy. Right. So if, we've re if we have received mercy, we should sow mercy. Mm -hmm. And there are so many other things. And, and I mentioned something about negative things a minute mm -hmm. ago. So let me kind of clarify that. So gossip would be a negative thing. Mm -hmm. It's not something that reflects God, God's mm -hmm. love, God's mercy, God's mm -hmm. compassion. Um, the language that comes out of our mouths, you know, mm -hmm. is our language, and I'm not talking about grammar, I'm talking about the words that we use, the, mm -hmm. the, the language that we use. Is it harsh? Is it, is it foul? Mm -hmm. You know, is it uh, crude? And these are all things that will give people clues as to who we are. Mm -hmm. And so this is not about just being a good person. Mm -hmm. This is not legalistic. This is about making sure that our heart is in a place that allows us to reflect God's light and mm -hmm. his love mm -hmm. and all of God's qualities like his mercy and his compassion mm -hmm. and his his faithfulness, his steadfastness. All of those things should be mm -hmm. reflected in our lives. Right. It's like God has a personality 
and we should reflect the his personality if mm-hmm. we are his children. Right. You know, sometimes it's very hard, you know, depending on how you feel that day. Mm. You know, when you walk out that door and you go to work or you go to a grocery store. I always mm-hmm. say grocery store because I I seem to always be in the grocery <laughs> store when somebody annoys me. <laughs> and, and so I, I mentioned grocery store, but any place, going to school or mm-hmm. going to, you know, wherever you go during the day, right. um, setting yourself up for to be that person mm-hmm. that God wants us to be mm-hmm. takes effort. It it's, does. It takes effort. Mm-hmm. It takes work. Mm-hmm. You, we're not just going to be happy and go lucky every day we walk out that no. door. You know, there's going to be times when we really have to work towards being who God's word tells us to be. Yeah. And mm-hmm. we have to take the time within ourselves to pray, mm-hmm. to get in his word. Mm-hmm. You know, all those things we teach about because it's so important. We can't do it without him. No. We can't no, we be can't. This, it's impossible. this person. We right. can't shine his light if we don't have it in us to shine. Right. And sometimes when we get in those moods where, you know, maybe something happened and it just put us in that mood, mm-hmm. you know, we have to know and work towards get, getting out of that mood and right. getting into the right place where right. we can shine God's light. So it right. takes effort, people. It it's does. not easy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, you could be even praying and in the Word and you still have those moments mm-hmm. where something or somebody can, can throw us off. Right. And we have to be strong enough as a believer to catch ourselves, to discipline ourselves, mm-hmm. and to react the way God would want us to react in right. that situation. Yeah, and you know, it's, things can change second by second, and mm-hmm. we can be going along just fine one minute, and something can happen, and it may not even be anybody else's fault. Right. You know, we might do something stupid ourselves. Mm-hmm. You know, that's true. Drop drop something and smash it, or or mm-hmm. break something, or whatever. It could be anything, and then right. the next thing you know, if we're not careful, that sets us off. Mm-hmm. And you know, don't anybody come near me right now. <laughs> <laughs> and and we have to, like you said, we have to be disciplined. Mm-hmm. We are the ones that have to fix that. That's right. That you know, God can't fix that in us if right. we are if we are bent on staying mm-hmm. mad. Right, and He can't make everything perfect. No. around us so that right. we can be right. these perfect little people. Right. We have to work it. We mm-hmm. have to have we have to make take that effort mm-hmm. and we have to walk in it. So we have yeah. to help ourselves to yeah. do the right thing, you know, yeah. and um it takes time. You know, we're not going to be perfect. People will see things sometimes yeah. in believers that they would be they will probably be shocked at. Mm-hmm. But that's when we just need to, you know, understand that no one's perfect. Right. You know, we try to do our best. We work hard at doing our best, mm-hmm. but sometimes we do feel mm-hmm. and sometimes we do fall. And as long as we know we get back up and we reach out for God to help us, we can continue on and right. we can learn from it. Right. Amen? Amen. And, you know, if if we do something stupid mm-hmm. and maybe we say something to somebody that we shouldn't have said or maybe we just use the wrong tone mm-hmm. and we can see that what we said mm-hmm. or how we said it cause problems right. or it hurt somebody it doesn't mean that everything is lost that's right it, you know forgive asking for forgiveness apologizing yes. admitting that mm-hmm. we were wrong that's and apologizing right. to that person goes a long that's way it. and it also shows god in us because mm-hmm. we are willing to admit that we were wrong yes that's right and we are willing to ask that person to forgive us yes that's a big deal. Mm-hmm. And it it doesn't justify blurting things out when right. we know we shouldn't say it. Mm-hmm. Because that's sometimes, right. you know, we say things and once those words are out there, you can't oh, take those yes, words back. Right. Mm-hmm. And but we we do stupid stuff sometimes. Mm-hmm. And I don't like to say that we make mistakes because we usually know what we're going to do mm-hmm. when we do it. Mm-hmm. And even as the words leave our mouths, it's like we can still rein it in. Right. You know, the Bible teaches us a lot about reining in our tongues mm-hmm. and, and how our tongue is such a small member of our body, right. but so very powerful. Mm-hmm. So it can be powerful for the good or for the bad. Right. And so we need to be careful to rein in our tongues. Mm-hmm. You know, 
I mentioned gossip a few minutes ago, and gossip is a, a big thing, mm -hmm. and gossip will tell people a lot about us right. if we're the ones gossiping. If, mm -hmm. if we will talk, and here's a saying I like that I've kind of passed around, I don't know, I heard it years ago, it's nothing that I made up, but if, if someone will talk to you about somebody else, they will talk to somebody else about you. Mm -hmm. And so if we are gossiping and talking about others to another person, mm -hmm. that is not shining God's light at right. all. And that's making that person less and less um, secure mm -hmm. feeling mm -hmm. with us, mm -hmm. and they're not going to trust us. Right. So we should be trustworthy with those around us. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's a big, long, lengthy list of things that, that we could go down. Right. Um, but this is probably enough to yes. to get us thinking mm -hmm. and get us, you know, get us working. Kind of, yeah, <laughs> kind of stir things up and right. remind us that yes. the way we carry ourselves mm. should be more than enough to show people that we are not of this world, right. that we are different, and that God's light is shining out of us without us mm. having to come right out and say, "Well, I'm a Christian." Right. Um, you know, if we are a Christian, if we are a child of God, we are truly following Christ, that should be evident in our lives, yes. in the things that we do, mm -hmm. the things that we say, mm -hmm. and as well in the things that we don't do and don't say. That's it right. goes both ways. Right, and we're not always going to feel like we want to do it. You know, there's no. not always going to be a time where we want to, you know, go and help somebody mm -hmm. or you know, do something nice for somebody or whatever. There are going to be times when we're tired mm -hmm. and when we want somebody to help us or maybe we right. feel like mm -hmm. we should be the ones getting the help. Yeah. You know, that's where we, we really need God's strength yeah. to help us push through those moments. Right. And He will. He will right. help us. And, you know, because He understands us and He knows that there mm -hmm. are times when we're just not in the mood. But... We need to be aware of it, like you said, that we can, when we are in public or whether we're at home in our own mm -hmm. house and, you know, maybe the doors are closed, we think we can do an act however we want. Well, no, we can't. Right. Even in our own home, behind right. closed doors, we still need to be that person, right. you know, that God wants us to be with the right attitude, mm -hmm. acting the right way, doing the right thing. Right. And it, it it's a good uh, eye opener for yeah, today. Good it's it's for a good us, reminder. Huh? It's you know we need to step up in this as as right. believers and right. and really start walking it out yeah. and being who God has called His children to right. be with His help and mm -hmm. um, we can do it. We can that's do right. it if we, can. we with if, the Holy Spirit's that's help. That's right. Amen. Right. Well, the Word says you know do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That's right. And that this is exactly what that's talking about. Yes. Doing the things that God wants us to do in Christ mm -hmm. because He's the one that gives us the strength. Yes. And you know, the last thing that I'll say is that a second ago you said something about, you know, sometimes we just don't feel like it. Right. <laughs> but you know, we have to put on our big boy and big girl pants yes. and, and push through. Mm -hmm. And we will reap what we sow. That's right. Mm -hmm. We will get what we give. Mm -hmm. And so if we give compassion and we give mercy and all mm -hmm. those things and we give love, those are what we will receive. Yes, that's right. And maybe we think that we deserve something on a certain day when God is asking us to give it out to somebody mm -hmm. else. And, you know, we're grumbling about it. But God, I'm the one that has, you know, a sore foot and I can barely <laughs> walk or whatever right. it might be. Yes. But... If God is asking us to do it, we need to do it. That's right. And try to do it without grumbling and complaining. Mm -hmm. And and just do what he's asking us to do. Yes. And let God take care of the rest. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody may not help us. Sometimes right. we just go through things and there is nobody knocking on our door saying, Hey, you know, I thought maybe you needed a, a meal today. So here, I cooked this or mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. um, that's life. That's right. And <laughs> Life isn't always a bowl of cherries. That's right. As the saying goes. So, well, that's about it for now. Yes. <laughs> Let's pray and wrap this up. Yes. Father God, we thank you thank that you are faithful. Lord. Yes. Lord, teach us to be faithful as well yes. in the things that we say and do, the way we interact with people. Father God, let our light shine on yes. others that that light would reflect you in everything that we say and everything that we do. Yes. 
And in those times where we drop the ball and we do something foolish or say something that we wish we hadn't said, God, teach us how to step up to the plate yes. and try to make it right. Yes. But teach us also to learn restraint when we're speaking, that we would not just say the first thing that comes to our minds and then have to do damage control after. Father God, help us to be disciplined in everything. Yes. Even in those times where you're asking us to do something and maybe we're just not feeling it that day, we don't feel good or we have other things going on, Lord, help us to rise above how we feel because we know, Lord God, your word teaches us that it's not always about how we feel. So we thank you that you are constantly training us and teaching us and shaping us and molding us into the person that you want us to be. Lord, help us to surrender fully to you in everything. And we pray in the precious, mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 So let's make sure that they know who we are yes. and who we belong to that's right. without us having to come right up and say it. Yes, Amen. that's right. Amen. Amen. We love you guys. We love you. Thank you for all that you do. Thank yes. you for your prayers. We really appreciate it. Yes, we do. Thank you for your your financial support. Yes, we appreciate you. that as well. Yes. It's it's just so appreciated. Yes, we, it is. we can't even put it into words. You Thank can tell you I'm so getting much. all tongue tied. <laughs> but if you guys would share the video, yes. like the video, if you have a comment, feel free to comment on it. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to our channel. We would appreciate it. And that's it for now. So until the next one, you take care and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.